I've got a lot of seeds started this year. I uh, went a little crazy and did more than previous years, partly because without my long commute, I have more time. Um, and also partly because I was thinking it would be nice to just have a little bit more food in the garden this year. So a lot of these white pots are tomato seeds that I've planted. Um, I've taken some clippings from my herbs, oregano, thyme, and rosemary, and I'm trying to root those. We've got some pumpkins over here. Got marigolds in these two green pots. This is one of the only sections that I've actually labeled. So you can see here we've got cilantro, lavender, spaghetti squash, basil, and then a Vietnamese vegetable called ngo gai, which I probably butchered that pronunciation. Over here we have sunflower seeds that are sprouting. Um, we also have peppers, a few more tomatoes, lettuces over here, and some more basil. We've got rainbow chard over here, and then to be sprouted, we have um, butternut squash, um, some more pepper seeds over here. We've got three grape vines that we're planning on planting in the ground toward our back fence once it's warm enough. We've got an aloe vera. I did not label a lot of things, so for some of them, it's going to be a matter of guessing when it comes up. Um, that's a fun lesson for next time. You can see that we used a lot of um, cut in half paper towel rolls and then old toilet paper rolls. We did this partly because it's a sustainable way of producing seeds or starting seeds. Um, you don't have to buy, the, buy them, plus they decompose, so you don't have to worry about plastic waste. But it also helps prevent transplant shock because you can put the entire thing down in the ground and as the cardboard breaks down, the roots can start growing through it, which is nice. It also helps prevent root binding before you actually do plant it. But we're using kind of a mix of everything that we've got. So we also have some plastic pots and we also have a seed starter tray over here. Um, you can see some things have started to come up and some haven't yet, but really excited and always love seeing new growth. Um, so I'm out here a couple times a day looking to see what has sprouted. 